Hello. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about basically about these two blogs. Uh, we just talked about um how to set up uh, how to set up um authentication with vault, right? So you know what one of the questions that people always get during interviews, right? How have you used vault, right? And of course, vaults, you know, as you may know, vault is being used to store secrets so that your application can retrieve those secrets. Now, the question is that how can your application re retrieve those secrets, right? The application needs to what? Make a request of vault to uh, retrieve the secrets, right? Now, question now is, do you put a token needed to communicate with vault? Do you put that inside your application? Or how do you go about that? Now, what um, Ashikov, right? The company behind Vault came up with what called Kubernetes authentication. So what happened is that uh, what is what's happened is that let me draw a very quick diagram. Uh, let me so let's say this is your pod, right? Your pod needs to retrieve something on Vault. Normally, it needs a token, right? Right. That that's the right, you know. Let's say the role is role A, right? Right. Now the policy also is policy A. Policy it needs a token that basically has uh you know the role, this particular role, right? And with the particular policy, it needs that token so that it's going to be able to request credentials from Vault. So it needs a token. So how do we get this token to, to the pod? We can ahead of time create that token and let's call it token A. Token A. We can ahead of time create the token A. That's one thing that we can do. So that means for every application within our cluster, we are going to basically, you know, tell it that A, use token A, right? Or we can actually tell Vault to send to give pod A, right, the right token. So basically we can allow pod A to request for a token from Vault. So pod A is going to basically make a request for a token from Vault. So now how does Vault work around this? So Vault has a Kubernetes plugin. Vault is going to basically pass over that responsibility to Kubernetes plugin. Now what the Kubernetes plugin is going to do is it's going to look at its configuration, right? In, in its role, right? And, and in that role, it's going to check if pod A service account, right? Right? If pod A service account has been configured, right? To receive, to be able to like, uh, have been configured in the cluster to be able to validate, to be able to retrieve token. That's what it's going to check. A, so when you're setting up Vault and when you need the Kubernetes plugin, right, the K8 plugin, you have to conf you have to tell Vault that there is a person called there's a person a pod that has a service account A, and anybody with this service account can make a request to get a token, and when they make a request to get that token right, request, give them a token, a Vault token. A vault token, give them a vault token that has what policy A, you know, permission. So what happened is that once port A makes a request, the, uh, the Kubernetes plugin is going to check against Kubernetes, right? It's going to look at the port service uh, account token. It's going to check which service account that token belongs to. And it's going to look at the name of the service account. I'm like, okay, in my cluster, they told me that anybody with service account A, I should give them a token, right? That has the policy A attached to it, right? And what does policy A? Policy A could mean that the person can read secrets. That could be it, right? So what is going to happen in the vault is going to return the token back to pod. A, here is the token that you need, 
that has the what? That has a policy attached to it. And since policy allows you to read within the cluster, then that port can now take the token and use it to read individual secrets in the cluster, depending on what is in policy. You see? So basically, the K8 uh, plugin is just a way to retrieve token, right? Using the service they can of the part. Now, the question is that how does Vault have permission to check if this service account is um, is correct? So what happens is that when you're setting up Vault K8 plugin, you are going to set give us the information about the cluster, the K8 cluster URL, the certificate authority, so that it's going to be able to talk to the cluster, right? Or using encrypted communication. And finally, you should give the token reviewer, right? What that token reviewer is going to allow. So that is what these three ingredients is what Vault Kubernetes plugin is going to come, come to uh, use to validate that the service account that this pod is using is actually service account A. And service account A has been configured to have the right credential. That is actually how yeah, it works, right? And these two um these two uh blog, I'm going to put them in uh in in uh, uh content video really goes into it. You see as you can see they enabled Kubernetes then they 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 got a token reviewer you can get the token review uh, JWT so what you're going to do to get that is that you're going to create a service account. I call let's call that service account vault alt. Now you're going to give it the cluster role binding that gives it the system alt delegator. What that means is that it allows it to, or to basically review token within a cluster, right? So once we get the service account along with its secret, we bind the service account account to be able to to, have, to allow its token to review other secrets within the cluster. Then we are going to grab the token, as you can see, of the secret of the service account. And that is what we give to Vault that hey, here is the token that has the permission we gives you right to review other service account token coming to, coming with the cluster, right? So that's how we do that. Then, of course, the certificate of the cluster, the hosts. Then, of course, this step is where I tell, basically, I configure uh, the vault with the reviewer token, the host of Kubernetes cluster, where it's going to post the request to review token to, the certificate authority set, right? That's it. Then I'm going to create a policy, a policy basically that allows me to, you know, you know this particular token that is about to be sent back. It needs permission when you cross that. And that permission is called policy. And then this one is just an attempt to basically validate that we are able to log in, right? So how are we validating that we're able to log in? We are simply going to, I didn't even like the way this one validated it. It's not fun. I like the way this second blog validated it, uh, this one. Basically, and that's what I did. Let me show you what I did. My cluster. You see? So what I did is that I, 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 I launched a debugging tool and that debugging tool itself, I use that to basically authenticate in the cluster. So the, debug the debugging tool, the first thing is that I took its service account token, right? right? Which is the port token that you saw earlier. I took that service account token, then I used that to retrieve token in the cluster. As you can see, I told Vault that, hey, this Vault, I want to basically opt against the Brazil cluster. I want you to retrieve a token for me. This is a role. And I, this, this is the role that I want, right? And this is the JWT 
right? The poor token that you're going to give to vote. That vote is going to then review. And once it finds that I have the right configuration in the cluster, it's going to return a token to which is its token. Now you can now grab that token and use it to do whatever you want with those. That token gives it, uh, as you can see, it gives you the ability to uh, use whatever is inside this policy, right? And this policy, you know, I actually define it to only be able to reach secrets at a particular path. But that is what is going on here. Um, so during interview, sometimes, you know, they ask you, ah, do you use vaults? You know, you have used vault. A very simple question is, I use vault to set up a secret rate for my application. And the issue here is that, um, you know, how do you, you know, okay, let's say once you get a token now, right? How do you basically use the token? How does the application use the token? That means the application has to be able to re request for the token. Then once the application gets the token, then it has to make use of it. How do we make sure the application does not need to have the logic on how to trick token? So that's what I'm going to talk about next, which is the vault in agent injector, right? I'm going to talk about, you know, basically how it works. All right, uh, that's it. And I will see you next time.